Hi, welcome again to our channel. This is the third video of the series about Design Spark Mechanical Basic Design for 3D Printing. So I have here with me. Uh, this is one of my old thing that I made using 3D printing. This is a microphone stand, and one of the uh, component is a knob here. So this will mix it easy to set the bolt and nut anyway uh, today we will design a nut knob or you can also use it for a bolt knob now let's start by clicking file new design okay uh, and then click this one the polygon and then click here and after that we input the number that we need so in this case, I'm using bolt and nut with the size 10 millimeters, so I will input 10.8, meaning that I have 0 0.8 tolerance. Okay, enter, and then after that, we click this one, the circle. Okay, click at the same center, and then we make a circle. In this case, I will make it 30 millimeters in diameter. Okay, and then after that, click this one, the 3D mode. Okay. Now we'll click at this one, the outer surface, and then pull by 15 millimeters. Okay, now spin a little and click the inner surface and then pull by, let's say, 7 millimeters. Okay, now uh, let me click this one for sketch mode. Click this one, the circle and then uh, with the same center we put in this case i'm using an m6 bolt so six millimeters in diameter but we have to add some allowance so 6.4 okay now we click the 3d mode and then i will pull this one so we have uh, a place to put the bolt in or the nut in okay now we will add more feature to the bottom side i will click here and put chamfer like this okay i will input five millimeters okay and then click home click select or press escape now we have this shape this is already a usable knob but still not enough friction to easily uh, tighten or loosen the uh, bolt so we will add more like grooves around this edge so click at this top uh, surface and then click this one or you can click this one first the sketch mode and then click this circle and then make one circle here in this case I will use 8 millimeters diameter okay press enter and then 3d mode after that we will click here and cut all the way down okay now let's see something like this okay mm, after that let me hide this surface okay click here at this structure okay now we will copy this uh, groove around so let's click select first and see uh, what it uh, and imagine what it will be look like okay okay so now let's click this one the surface or the shape that we want to copy around and then click move the next is we click this one the center of this axis and attach it to the axis of the object okay and after that we click this one at the bottom left create patterns here again click this one the in this case the blue uh, radial arrow and then move it okay I will input six okay looks good and then we click again home and click select okay let's see okay already looks like a finished product but 
we will need to smooth out these edges so click on this two click pull and then drag with the round shape let me input two for the radius okay so because this is a pattern uh, the the editing that you do in one of the line will also affect to the other ones okay click home done now we have a, a usable knob from this you can also smooth out the surface so for this one I will put some radius here maybe by two millimeters okay and then I will also put some chamfer here so to select uh, this one you can double click if it's selecting another set of uh, corners you can uh, repeat the double click and then for this one I will use chamfer and then push by one millimeter okay now click home and done we have a functioning knob congratulations now you can design and make a knob based on your own specification anyway if you have any idea or suggestion please put in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe i will continue again with a more advanced function in the next video so have a great day and bye